Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing the overview for Libra season from September 22nd to October 22nd. Now, I'm going to give you the overview and, you know, just the things that I've collected, some of the feelings that I've been feeling about this, and we're going to try something a little bit different, and we'll see how this works, and I will tell you when I do this little bit different. Anyway, remember that this is general information. You can find this in different places. In fact, one of my favorite websites, I will post that when we get, well, probably in the next day or two. So just watch for that in the community page and also on my Facebook, okay? So now let me just kind of go through some of the things that we need to know about. As we enter into Libra season, three planets are going direct. That's Mercury, Venus, and Jupiter. Three planets are retrograde. I'm sorry, five planets are retrograde. That's Mars, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So already, now remember, Libra is about the scales, about justice, it's about balance. So already we're entering Libra season out of balance, okay? Now, Libra season will begin September 22nd. The sun, the, well, Libra begins, and these will be, all be Eastern Standard Time, at 9.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, the fall or autumn equinox for the Northern Hemisphere, um, which means that basically it means night equals day. So you have the fall, autumn, and you also have the spring when these are close to being equal in time, okay? So the, you know they're not quite totally, but they are close. So you, you have about 12 hours of daylight and you have 12 hours of darkness, okay? So that will start at 9.30 a.m. also. So right at that same time, you have Libra season, which is about balance, harmony. It's also about justice. And you have the autumn or fall equinox beginning, okay? So now what I'm going to do is my rider weight. I don't use the, these cards a whole lot, um, but I do like them. We're going to see. Is there any? I'm going to pull three cards to see. Is there anything about Libra season just in general, okay? And remember, I have done what I normally do. I have prayed, meditated, and infused the deck with Reiki energy. Um, remember, this is just a general, general reading. It may or may not resonate, okay? Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so we have the Sun, we have the Ten of Cups, and we have the Five of Cups. So, very interesting. The Five of Cups is actually reversed. So here we go. The sun, you'll notice, you know, the sun is very bright. The sun is optimistic. The sun has hope. Things are going to work out. You know, just keep going forward. Now, the Ten of Cups is about rejoicing. It's about having things, you know, having, having um, you know, your cup overflows, wonderful home life. So these in itself are very, very positive energies, okay? Then we have, and this one's reversed, so it's a little stronger, we have the Five of Cups. And with this, if you notice, the person is turning his back, on, or it, well, actually, in front of him, there's three cups that have fallen down, and it's like, oh, no, what do I do? But yet, turning his back on the things that are behind him, and not necessarily, you know, not necessarily trusting that they're behind him and not necessarily believing that he still has this good stuff happening. So in most part, Libra's coming up, according to these cards, you know, is going to be very hopeful, as very, um, you know, very um, rejoicing. However, there's going to be a little bit of a mourning. There's going to be an M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G. There's going to be left, leaving some things behind and not necessarily recognizing some of the blessings that we're receiving. Okay, so back to this. Now we have, on the 29th of September, we have Venus trining with, I'm sorry, Venus with Leo trining with Aries. So um, there might be some emotional energy with that. You know, Leo is very gregarious. Aries is very fiery also. So just be aware on the 29th, that something could be very, you know, kind of, you know, emotionally blow up a little bit. 
or emotionally rectify itself too. So sometimes, you know, because remember, Libra is about balance. Now on the 29th, Saturn is going direct and it will be in Capricorn. Now Saturn's a very strong energy, strong planet and you know, doesn't always want to give its secrets, doesn't always want to give away the ending of the book. So October 1st, we have our full moon. It will be in Aries. And that's why it's important to know about that 29th with Venus, with Leo and Aries, because now you still have the now you have that full moon with Aries. Remember, 30 days in September. So you have that full moon. So you've got a lot of this overcasting Aries energy. Aries can, you know, Aries, well, you know, God, you know, what is it? Um, Aries is the God, you know, is Mars, God of, you know, God of war, okay? Also, also the spirit of battle, too. So this, this full moon is going to be an extremely um, interesting full moon. You've got, I mean, that Aries energy is going to be pushy. It's going to be putting things forward. Saturn's going to have some of that stubborn energy. We also have then, there's some squares going on with this. We have Jupiter, we have um, Pluto, we have Saturn all around that, that's squared with Capricorn. And then we also have conjunction Mars, because it's kind of ne next to each other in its own way. We have Mars in Aries, so you have all of this. Now Capricorn is probably going to be, that's is also going to add to the stubbornness, but Capricorn is also going to probably be what, um, mellows or what stabilizes a lot of these planets, okay? So let's go ahead and see for the full moon in Aries. And remember, full moon is that time that you do that release, relinquish, and request. And this one is, I mean, this is going to be, you know, this full moon is going to be all about me, not me per se. Well, maybe it will be, but it's that's how we're going to be approaching it. So it could be an extremely selfish full moon. It could be a very, you know, I'm putting my foot down full moon. It's, you know, like I said, it's all about me with this full moon. Now, that could be something that's been very needed. You know, you might need to do that. Or, you know, again, it could be, you know, it could be I'm not putting up with anything either. So there's going to be some strong, you know, just... I'm standing on what I'm standing on type of energy. So let's see. We're going to pull three cards again and see what we have with this. Okay, interesting with that. Now I am pulling these up. And what we're getting here, this first one, is the tower. That's where everything has to break down in order for it to pull back together again. So the tower, a lot of times it's like, oh, no, 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 not the tower, Deb, not the tower. No, 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 put it back in. But the tower is where everything has to collapse in order for this to come back together again. So this all about me type of energy, it's going to be kind of like clearing. It's, it's like clearing things away, clearing things away. Um, then we have this one that is reversed. This is the Ace of Swords. Now, Swords is air energy. We talk about that. That is Libra. We're in Libra season. It is also Aquarius, Gemini, your thoughts. Your, and this is, you know, a lot of times this has to do with how you're planning. You're making your plans. So again, with this all about me type of energy, things kind of like breaking down that norm, new plans, new ideas, new ways of how we're going to get through whatever this is, what we want to have as our new direction also. But we are very good. It is very good. We have the Knight of Wands. Wands is Leo, but it's also Aries and Sagittarius energy. And remember, we have the full moon is in Aries. We have that, you know, Mars thing going on with Aries also. Um, you know, so there is there is this, you know, ready to go. You know, this is kind of ready to go into battle. This is ready to go fight for some of our beliefs too, okay? So this full moon is not necessarily going to be the most gentle full moon, uh, but again, full moons, a lot of times, this energy, it, you know, a lot of times, sometimes you just need to clear it all out and start over, okay? So, the thing then we know is that October 2nd, Venus will go into Virgo at 1648. And remember, these are all military and, uh, or 24-hour and Eastern Standard Times, okay? 
And that will help to um, kind of like looking back and saying, what the heck did you do? You know, come on, get it together type of energy. Okay, now, on the 4th of October, Pluto goes direct, which is good. So we will feel more in control, but it still has to go through a couple of steps for us to feel before we really feel more confident in that. It is going direct in Capricorn. Then, October 13th, we have Mercury going retrograde 2105 Eastern Standard Time. And it will be going retrograde for the part, first part in Scorpio. It then goes retrograde into Libra on the 27th, um, you know, at 2134. Okay, so, and that's important. Well, we'll get, we'll get to that point. Now, you know that that's where, you know, communications, um, don't buy any um, electronics during that time. People tend to come back into our lives. The thing is, though, with Scorpio, Scorpio doesn't like secrets. And they don't want, you know, they don't want secrets in the communication. I'm not talking about Scorpio, but the people under the sign, and even though I said Scorpios. Scorpio, the, you know, it does not like to have secrets. So things can slip out. Things can come out. Now, Libra, again, when it goes retro, so it's going backwards or it's appearing to go back, backwards in Scorpio, it then starts to appear to go backward in Libra, bringing that balance again. And like I said, that's the 27th. And that's when Venus enters Libra also within about a, within um, seven minutes after it goes you know, into Mercury. Mercury goes into Libra too. So you're going to have Mercury and Venus. So the words will be, the energies will be a little bit kinder, okay? The energies, the communication, it won't be quite in your face, and that's what Scorpio was bringing. Now, Mercury will go direct November 3rd at 1250. Okay. Yes, we've got a lot of stuff. So let's see, what can we say about Mercury going direct? I mean, going retrograde. Let's see if we get what we get for that one. And I'm just used to flipping these up when I do this. Okay. Okay, so really, we have the Four of Swords, okay? Swords, again, are, you know, air energy. It's still that Libra energy. It's still that Aquarius, that Gemini. Thoughts, your words. It's kind, And Fours have a, st a stableness to it. But if you look at it, it's kind of like, you know, you think about it as, you know, this person, he kind of looks like he's kind of laid out there with these three swords hanging down, but there's always this one sword there, and he's really not, he's not, you know, it looks like he's not alive, okay? But he is alive, and there is that fourth one. That one is there for him to come out, and so it's like even though the situation doesn't necessarily look good, and that would be part of the Scorpio part of it, that other sword kind of is like, nope, we got this. We got this. The other thing, too, is we do have then the Six of Pentacles. Six, okay, um, Pentacles is Earth energy, uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, money energy, something, you know, that you can touch. And this is not, you know, so another part of this, and I think this is when we go in more into that, that switch over from that Scorpio retrograde to um, Mercury retrograde and Scorpio to Libra, we're going to have more of a, like, okay, we need to, we need to get our act together. We need to be kinder. We need to be nicer. We need to, you know, be more generous to our, the people around us. And with that, then we end with the Queen of Pentacles. Again, it is that earth energy. And it's kind of like, it's kind of like the Queen of Pentacles, very much the home energy, very much money energy too. But it's kind of, you know, it's like, no, you know, we've, we've got to pull things back together again. We've got to pull things back together again. So look for that type of energy during Mercury retrograde. Now, I hope you're liking this because I've never done it this way before, but I just felt like I should. Okay, so I talked about um, Mercury retrograde. Okay, the new moon. <laughs> the new moon... October 6th in 16th in Libra at 15:30 again Eastern time. Now this is really interesting because this is kind of like I, I'm feeling like a really big like we're just slicing and dicing. We're cutting like a knife, cutting like a skull, uh, a skull. Uh, 
scalpel okay we're getting rid of the old we're getting rid of what we don't need it's where we're you know it's kind of, i'm kind of feeling like a very much a butcher and we're getting rid of the fat we're getting rid of the things that we just don't need anymore now remember with libra season libra energy it's about balance it's about justice okay so you know and we there's been a lot in this year that has not been in balance so what happens is, so you might have something like this. Remember the planets, you know, we had three in direct, three direct and five retrograde. Sometimes what happens is you say, okay, we're going to take, so you have our two, you have your scales. Sometimes what happens is, you know, you might add a little bit of weight on this one, or you might take off some weight on this, and things just fling up, okay? And they just become scattered, and it's just, you know, it's totally more so out of balance in its own way, you know, it's like it had to get rid of everything on its scales in order to start over, okay? Or there can be some gentle, you know, positioning of those scales too. So you have to remember that about Libra season. Now, going back, going back to the 16th of October, again, cutting like the knife. It's like you're cutting the fat, you're cutting the, um, you're just cutting the things you don't need anymore, it's really a kind of, you know, lean and lean, lean and mean, you know, type of energy there. So, okay, this card just fell out. Oh, and it's actually face down. We'll leave them face down. Let's see what they say. I'm going to pull two more out. First card up. Okay, like I should see it. The Emperor. Okay, the Emperor. The Emperor is, again, you know, this would be an Archangel Energy card. This would be Michael. This is about getting things organized. Get things organized, put things in its place, use, you know, use wisdom, don't use emotion, and get things ready. So around this new moon, which is when you really want to do a lot of your requesting, remember, full moon to new moon, it gets smaller, that's when you're getting rid of things. New moon to full moon, as it gets bigger, you want to do your requesting and your gathering of things. But the emperor is saying, really, get things organized, get things, you know, put things in, in, um, Put, put things where they need to be, okay? So then we go into, okay, the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant is that religious order, is that legal order. And remember, that kind of goes along a little bit with the justice, but this isn't necessarily with, um, this isn't necessarily all good for all people. There is going to be kind of a, um, you know, this, this kind of has a do as I say type of energy. I'm feeling like this is a do as I say type of energy, okay? Your last card, I need to see it, so here we go. Okay, this is the three of pentacles, okay? The three of pentacles. And this does have some type of positive money type of energy. It's not super, super positive. But it does have, it is something like don't worry so much. As these things are going on, don't worry so much about where things are going to be coming from. You know, this is about having faith and having, um, you know, just having that connection with your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your archangels, okay? So it's like even though things are kind of like, you know, they're kind of getting things straightened out a little bit, there may be a little bit of a legal aspect with this around this new moon, but the thing is about you is, is for us is to not necessarily worry about it, even though, you know, they're, they're, um, we, are, we are trimming the fat. Okay, now let's see where I'm at here on my list. Um, okay, now the person that I get the web, um, that, I, that I get a lot of my information out, I'm giving you just the dates. The other things are from, coming from me. But, um, you know, I did want to put this in that around the 19th of October, things will start to actually be, there will actually be a healing type of energy coming. Okay. The 21st of October, um, let's see, anything going on? Well, we have Venus in Virgo, and then we have Pluto with Capricorn, and... Um, which will actually be pretty, you know, but Pluto likes control. Virgo likes a little bit of control, too. So, you know, we'll just deal with that when we deal with it. 
by the end, during and by the end of Libra season, we now have four planets direct, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto. We have four planets retrograde, Mercury, Mars, Uranus, and Neptune. So now our scales are coming back into balance, okay? Also to October, um, Scor October 22nd, Scorpio enters, okay, Scorpio season begins, I'm not going to start over, at 1900. And like I said, this is all Eastern Standard Time, so you can adjust it to where you are. And I just wanted to throw this in. We do have a second full moon on October 31st at 10.49 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that will be in Taurus. Now, as I was shuffling, and I, I you know, because I like to do this with my hands anyway, just kind of shuffle the cards, a card fell out and fell on the floor. It flew and fell. So hold on a second. Let me get this. Ah. <laughs> Here. Uh, let me get this. And again, it's, it is face down. I don't know what this is. Here we are. Okay, we have that four of swords again. And like I said, while it looks like these four are ready to fall, they are mounted. I mean, these three, this is air energy again. But there's this, there's this hidden energy. There's this hidden sword. There's this hidden plan. There's this plan that, you know, we may not necessarily be aware of just ready for this time. Now, this might be for Scorpio season. It may be for the end of Libra season. So, like I said, um, I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. These are cards I use more for myself, um, but I wanted to share it with you. I hope that you um, enjoyed that. It was very kind of a quick and dirty um, adding that in, um, but I wanted to go through Libra season with you. So, remember the button down there. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this. I'll, you know, maybe do it again. Or was it too rushed? Was it too, too much for you? You know, I want to thank you all for watching. This is Libra season. I will be getting out, you know, the signs in Libra seasons. I'm going to post this one first, and then I'll be working on the others. So, as always, please know you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye. There we go, down there.